Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we are going to be using Hyperhuman by Demos to pretty much create a face, like a 3D face that we can turn into a meta human. So, that being said, if you want to check this out, go to hyperhuman.demos.com. So, here we are in the front page. Now, just a disclaimer whatever you're generating right now, it is not private yet. Uh, so you can see right here in the front page, here are some of the faces that people have generated. I mean, people have been generating some pretty suspicious stuff in here. I mean, look at this. This is probably Tom Cruise. Yep. Uh, you got um, Walter White. You have Brad Pitt. So we got some pretty cool stuff in here. Now, I'm mainly using this to create some unique face shapes. Um, I'm not completely using this to create a metahuman just yet. But I do like the result that you're getting as far as getting you know, facial shapes. So here we go, describe the model you want to generate. I want to generate a female that looks like a Korean pop superstar that can still take care of kids. I don't freaking know. Let's do a generate. I'm just being silly. I'm trying to throw it off. Uh, so this is actually using GPT to kind of help you assist in here. Now, like in my previous video, technically you can use the assistant to generate your facial shape. But um, in this one, I think we're just going to go straight with it. It looks like here, I'm an assistant. How can I assist you in generating a character? I'm just going to send the same exact thing that I type, so I don't have to repeat myself. And as you can see on the top left, it's going to say face, Korean, female, pop superstar, capable of taking care of kids. Uh, let's start with the facial appearance. Um, let's see here. I don't want to put any hair color because sometimes that added that adds like color to the actual textures itself. So we don't want to do that. Let's just say, on the tra again, I'm not going with the prompt. I'm not going with the AI here. I'm just going to try and see if we can generate one. You know what I mean? Like... I'm not going to follow the AI. We're just going to go ahead and let it generate for us. Our facial examples are a round shape. Uh, I would say sharp face. Sharp face. Sharp face. With small nose and medium lips. I'm just throwing out some randos out here. I don't really know any... I don't really know any Korean pop... Superstar. Maybe one of those black pink girls. I don't know. Black pink? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw YouTube like uh they went to like they went to like some TV show or something. I'm just gonna say black pink to see what 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 I, I'm gonna put black pink in there and let's just see. Black pink is actually a K-pop girl group. Oh, okay. Um sure. Jenny Jenny from the block. Hmm, she's a nanny for a wealthy family. Yes, bro. That's it. Let's just let's just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Let's just go with that one. Face Korean female. Now, again, you can go straight to the prompt right here if you just copy and paste this and just change it around. Um, you don't have to go through the AI chat GBT. Um, nope. That's all I need. Just generate it. I don't need any other features. It's gonna generate a new prompt. Okay, so let's press generate right here. All right, so I said kind of like a sharp face. Now this is gonna give you some, some face shape and this is why mainly I use this tool because it does give you some nice, you know, default shape. Let's see if I can find like a decent one here. Mm, let's try this one. This one has a little bit more shape. Everyone uses MetaHumans nowadays and majority of them are just using the 50 generated one. But I want something that looks different. You know, like I, I can just recognize those. Even games now are using those 50 generated ones. So this one is actually pretty decent. I like, I like the little chin, chin right here. The nose is a little bit bigger. I did say small nose. So I think that's my fault. But honestly, for just a, honestly, just for the face shape, this could probably work. Now she is like a caretaker. All right, so I'll go right here. Now I have options. I told them to change the dollar sign because people thought it was like $20. This is just not, this is not dollars. Uh, last video I made, it showed $1.20 and people thought it was $20 or $4. It's not. Okay, I told them to change that because it is confusing. Um, I can go with 4K textures, but like I said, I'm not really using the textures in here. I'm just using the shape. So I'll go with the 20 is okay. 
um, you can export the textures, the meta human. Pretty much, it's gonna be um, placed in a meta human head. You can actually use the meta human textures from this straight to a meta human head. Again, I'm not gonna do that uh, because I think so far right now uh, the meta human textures are a lot cleaner. Because as you can see, it's it's just still a little bit jagged around the edges. Because I mean, it is high quality, but I feel like as far as textures go. I'd still go with the meta human textures for now. Uh, so that that being said, I'll go to next. I'm not gonna do any of the blunt shapes or anything like that, or the back textures. It's gonna cost a little bit more. I'm not gonna use any of the eyes because we're gonna be using mesh to meta human to do that. And we're just gonna straight up pay twenty. And then I'll go to my mine right here, and you're gonna see some of the models I did. Now we got another Korean girl right here, and it looks like this one is done. I'm gonna show you like the ones I've kind of generated. I think I've done this one in my tutorial. Uh, I try to do Eminem right here, so you can see it doesn't look like Eminem quite just like Eminem. So I'll double click this right here and we'll just download this right here. So what that's going to do is download this on my computer. It was pretty fast. It's pretty quick. And this is this website is great because like me, I can't sculpt. I'm not a sculptor. I'm a filmmaker. So this is a great way to get some shape. Okay, so here we are in the folder that I downloaded. So you can see here we do have some diffuse normal and spec. We don't need these textures, but if you take a look at it, if you want, that's about 2K. And then we have the model OBJ right here, which is what we need for Mesh to Meta Human. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 5 courses on ArtStation, Udemy, or Gumroad. So let's go ahead and hop into Mesh to Meta Human. And let's create a new folder. I already have all the plugins enabled. If you don't know how to do this, just go to Edit, Plugins, and type in Meta Human right here. The MetaHuman plugin right here, Toolkit. Uh, I think it's available at 5.1 right now, if I remember correctly. And next, I'll just drag and drop my model in here. The face shape is ready for actual mesh to MetaHuman. I'll drag and drop that texture there, and I'll create a new material for that. And basically, we'll just use this material so that the mesh to MetaHuman can see our character a little bit better. Okay, so that being said, with our plugin enabled, we're going to create a MetaHuman identity, and we'll call this caregiver or care whatever you want to spell caregiver and it's going to make me log in so i'll just go ahead and put my credentials in there and then i'm going to go component from mesh type in this and it's going to show up i'll make this bigger so you can see a little bit better here's our sculpt and again the face shape looks pretty darn good looks pretty unique in my opinion i can go to unlit mode here so you can see it a little bit better uh, but what we'll do here next is we'll promote a frame and we will just auto track this. This is going to automatically track the facial features right now. You can see right here, it's loading the trackers. Okay. Now, it did pretty good, but I'm going to refine that. I want to make sure that our camera is locked, which it is. I'm going to zoom in. And I just want to love you. Go ahead and move this a little bit so that it's following the outline a little bit better. She's got this kind of weird eye shape now again whenever i'm in the meta human creator i tend to use the meta human eyes and i'm going to kind of talk about that a little bit as to why i do that but at the same time i still kind of want to get this correctly here now this is really weird uh, as far as this how deep this pocket is right here i'm definitely not going to be using her eyeballs and then we'll go to the lips here that did a pretty good job okay that's good and so once that's done, I'm going to click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. Okay, so that's good to go. And then next, what we're going to do after that is create a body type. I'll just go with a medium, normal weight. And this is now going to export this mesh, convert it to a MetaHuman, and then bring it to the MetaHuman Creator tool. Okay, so here we are in the MetaHuman Creator tool. I'm just going to say Edit Selected right here. And I'm going to stop this. And it actually did a pretty good job picking this up. Again, you don't want that. I've never seen a person with eyes like that. But look at this. This looks pretty darn good. All right, so here we go. I mean, honestly, for you to sculpt something like this, good luck, bro. I ain't got time for that or skills. Okay, so I'm going to give you all some hints and tips right now, okay? So right now with the Mesh to Meta Human, we are having some eyelids eyeballs mouth issues now to get rid of that um you're actually gonna have to change the region influence right here now even though sometimes in my experience of course i'm not speaking for everybody sometimes the face rom can look 
really, really good here. But whenever you actually download this meta human and you do some facial animations with it, you're going to start seeing some lip issues and some eyelid issues and some eye issues. So for me right now, I actually turn off the eyes. So you can see that clean it up right there. This is before and that's after. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to get that from the mesh to the meta human. The outer eye I'll also turn off. And depending on the lip right here, and I'll turn that off as well, and I'm going to turn this off as well right here, okay? Again, that's just a little trick that I'm doing right now whenever I'm having issues with the eyelids, eyes, and all that stuff. But everything else, I'm going to keep right here. So this is looking pretty darn good. It's starting to look like a good meta human. Now, obviously, if you want to just turn everything off with one click, uh, you can just go all the way to the left. But for me, I mean, you're still using that mesh that we got from ChatGPT or Demos. All right, so let's go with a skin here. I'm going to assign a skin. Obviously, she's going to be Asian. I mean, honestly, man, with a couple of clicks with a chat GPT, uh, this is actually looking pretty darn good. Okay, so now with the skin turned on, what I usually do is I go to the textures. Now, here's another tip for you. Don't go with a perfect skin. Don't go for the one all the way to the left because they are so smooth. Um, so what I do right here, instead of using the slider, I actually click because you're gonna get a lot more options. Even though they're really subtle, sometimes you get to find like the really, really good looking skin by clicking on this instead of just using the actual slider itself. So I think that looks kind of cool. Again, you can mess around with it a little bit more if you want. And then what I usually do next is I go to the eyes. Now, sometimes I play around with kind of different eye color just to give it a little bit, you know, just to change it up a little bit. I don't usually do makeup in here, but if you want to, you can. Um, and then next, I'm going to go with, you know, makeup for the eyes. Just something minimalistic. There you go. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to do the blush and then the lips. I can just leave it as is. You can do that later. Now, as far as the head shape goes, I mean, honestly, for this top one, I think it is a little bit crazy. So I'm going to stop. And I'm going to enable editing for this. I'm going to unlock this now. Because what I usually do is I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but I'm going to grab all the Asian girls in here. And I think there's another girl. Let's just grab this one. All right. So for the head right here, again, I think it is a little bit is it's just a little bit too much. And then this head again. And honestly, I'll go to the sculpt right here. I just kind of want to make it a little bit so it's not too so it doesn't look like a freaking ball. So let me go to the head. And let's start giving her a haircut. And unfortunately, we don't really have much. Um, but I do like messing around with this one. The short braids is like my favorite. I love that. And actually, that looks pretty darn good already. That's incredible, man, that we can just create something like that. Uh, if you want to, what I usually do is go through the eyeballs as well with the blend. Um, because to me, honestly, looking at it, it's a little bit too close together. And it looks like the actual eyelid came back on. So let me switch this over for the influence. You see right here. And I'll change this again. There you go. So we can kind of change it a little bit. and be Because you can actually see what's going on with this. That eyelid right, right there, if I leave that as is, that's going to give me a lot of problems later. So I'll just turn that off. And again, for the lip, I'll just turn it off right there. I mean, it doesn't really do too much. Uh, nothing stopping me from just going here and then going to the lip and just choosing another lip that kind of looks natural. Obviously, not that. Uh, but honestly, and here is where I take a lot of time, uh, really just tweaking a lot of settings until the human or the meta human looks like an actual person, right? Like that. Um, and this one right here, just kind of move it in a little bit. That looks pretty good. Yeah, and just a couple of clicks, man. This is the power of Unreal Engine right here. Look at that. Wow. That's incredible. All right. So um, let's go with the makeup a little bit. Maybe some foundation. Yeah, okay, we can do some foundation, it's fine. Turn that all the way to the right. 
because you know she's about to go on a on a blind date right now. Oh yeah, a lot of those freckles are looking pretty nice too, actually. Now I don't like using foundation a lot too much. Uh, with that being said, though, I just like imperfections. I really do. I, I just love uh, the pores and things like that. So I think I'm gonna leave this as is for now. I might mess around with the actual eyebrows. Okay, yeah, that look that looks pretty good. A little bit thinner. Boom. Look at that. Yo, that looks pretty good. Let's go do some facial room real quick. Oh, yeah. The teeth. Let me fix that teeth. That's way too yellow by default. Man, y'all are learning. Let's go ahead and change the variation a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. And then for the color, I usually move this to the left. Right? Because if you go to the right, it just doesn't look right. Give it a little bit of color. Like so. But she's really happy. She's got the uh, the RTX 4090 in the mail. Alright, I'm just eyeing this, y'all. I am just variation in there. Uh, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that smile. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is obviously I'm going to change the name. Let's think of a good name. A little bit of Monica. No, Monica sounds good. All right, so there's Monica right there. And press stop. So that being said, I'm going to exit the MetaHumans. I'm going to let this download. And I'm going to take it to Unreal Engine 5 so I can do a little bit of razzle-dazzle lighting, camera, and all that stuff. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so here we are in Unreal Engine 5.3. Now, this is a beta version. My new 5.3 right now. Um, here we are, we have Monica in our scene, and in just a couple of typing, couple of clicks, we have created a meta-human that looks like that. It's pretty insane. I mean, this is at screen percentage 69. Let's turn it up to 200, and you're really going to see the quality uh, of this right now. And, and again, the fuzz is just a little bit too much, so what I would do is actually reduce that a little bit. And we are texture streaming real quick, so let's go ahead and... Take care of that. Probably a bad idea because I have it set to 200%, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so here we go. We got rid of it. I mean, this quality right here looks amazing. And let me go back to like just 120 or something so we can actually inspect the character right here. Oh my God, I went too fast there. It's pretty amazing. It's incredible. And honestly, MetaHuman, uh, the MetaHuman creator is still fairly new. So we're only going to get better from here. Um, one of the things is, you know, I, I wish they would kind of up the textures just a little bit, uh, which I'm sure that's going to come eventually. But this right here, this is standard texture meta human that we just created using chat GPT head mesh. Incredible detail. And again, like I said, whenever you're choosing a face, go with, at least for me, go with the, the ugliest, the, the most dirty, with freckles, with pores and pimples and things like that. Because at the end of the day, um, that's going to look better in the end. It's going to look more realistic unless you're going for like, you know, like a hybrid cyborg or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you create a head mesh using Demos Hyperhuman and then use the mesh to MetaHuman to create a MetaHuman for Unreal Engine 5. I hope you all learned something new today. If not... See y'all in the next one. Peace out.